guys welcome back to the channel again so today we are basically done with the car we're gonna be putting it back together and guys check out this bumper in the sunlight that looks sick also check out these little stuff too like look at that it turns from blue to purple and then you look closely also it has a rainbow effect in it super nice guys we, we honestly did a really good job on this. Um, everything looks super good. The only thing we probably didn't do that well was on the prepping, but it is what it is. Hopefully this car doesn't look too bad when you put it all together. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys. So let's get down and put this car back together. All right, guys. So we got the doors in. The doors were a pain in the ass to put back together. Um, so that's the car kind of in one piece so far. Um, Nate is taking off the pillar because. Uh, oh, I'm putting this back on now. Oh, never mind. He's putting it back on. I'm just going to screw the fucking antenna thing right over here. Okay. Yeah, so what we're doing now is putting on the weather stripping, which we should have done beforehand because. On this door, we got to pull on the weather stripping, and now we got to remove that pin again, which is down there. That pin is a bit to put back on, so it'll be fun. We're almost done putting the car back together, anyways. The door just, a, just the door just the hardest part. Everything else is just bolts. So it should be pretty easy now, guys. So let's hope we can get this thing done quick. All right, guys. So we're almost done, ish. Uh, just a few more stuff. So we got the quarter the fenders on. This is what the whole car looks like. Ish. As you can see. It looks so good. We haven't put the front bumper on just yet. Uh, because we're trying to get everything down first. And we'll put the bumpers on and it'll make it look a hundred times better. I can't wait. It will look amazing. Because we did... We did a really good job on the bumpers. There's a little bit of run, as you guys can kind of see, and there's and there's a whole bunch of orange peel. But we're gonna be gonna be wet sanding that down anyways, so this should be good. And uh, but we did a really good job on the bumpers, which is a plus. We should be getting this done really quick because we just a few more bolts and we should be good. So now, this is what it looks like, ish. Uh, suddenly put the bumpers on. The fenders was kind of annoying to put on because the bolt is behind the door. So it was kind of a pain. Oh, bro, we already tripped the pin right there. It happens. Fuck. Thought I was to take the door off. Yeah, but guys, this is what it looks like with that on it, too. It looks super cool. Just wait till we add on that trim, and everything else should be good. I can't wait to see what this thing's gonna look like. Yeah, anyway, we still got on that that mirror too. But other than that, this is what a gas cap looks like too on the car. So from different angles of it, like this, you see purple and then become blue. It looks pretty cool. But we're gonna be heading over to what events all apart? Yes. Events all apart for some stuff. So we'll be right back. A few moments later. Now we're back. Um, so we got the coolant tubing. All we they gave us this, so fuck it. I love it works. So now we're gonna we're gonna try to uh, bleed out the coolant system. Um, so hopefully it ain't too bad. So let's do this and bleed it out, guys. So we got done bleeding it, and uh, it runs a slightly bit better. But we figured, but we turns out it also has a vacuum leak. Um, it doesn't have that vacuum line right there, so it isn't running perfect. So when you start it up, it runs really rough because of that vacuum hose, the vacuum line right here, that one right there. So like, if I if Nate was to start the car right now, and I and I just go and plug it like this, the car would entirely shut off. So, um. We're missing a vacuum hose right there, and we don't know where it goes to. So, in a little bit, if we're gonna go to a, one of our buddies, if he's awake, we're gonna go to his place to go check out his Integra because 
His Integra is the LS one, so it has the same exact motor. So it should be similar, and we can check it out and see where that hose goes to. And after that, we should be good to go. But right now, we're gonna put the whole car back together real quick. And uh, it shouldn't take that long now. Now we're, we're taking almost done. Bumpers on. This is what it looks like now, guys. It looks pretty sick. And yes, guys, it's gutted. Let's go. Weight deduction. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It's not gutted. It's just, it's just messy right now. But we still need to put on the rear bumper. But fuck it. Do we really need that? No, we don't. So fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Do do we need do we need windows? No, we don't. Fuck it. Do we need a hood? No, we don't. Fuck it. I don't need the hood yet. Do do we need tires? No, we don't. Fuck it. So without further ado, guys, we should be almost done here, and in a little bit, we should uh, have the car running. Like it runs fine if you were to just drive it, but if you're just idling, you know it's an issue because we're scared that it might just die on there again. So for right now, we're gonna see how it runs with the with the coolant all fixed up, and uh, and our buddy he doesn't live that far anyways, like. 10 minute, 10 minute drive, so it shouldn't take that long. So, let's get this thing done, put back together, and then we'll be on our way. So, we got the whole car sort of back together now. This is what it looks like. So, this is what it looks like now. Looks pretty good, except we're missing a few lights. And the sunroof doesn't work as good. You guys can see this. So, yeah, that. Because the previous owner kind of fucked up on it, so we were missing some few stuff. So we're just kind of doing with the same thing they did. Um, but it is where it is. But this is it for the car so far. We're gonna be putting the rest of the stuff on when we uh, wet sand and compound this thing. But for right now, this is what the car's gonna look like and sit for now. But guys, we're now we're gonna head over to one of my buddy's place. Um, we're gonna go check out his car and uh, see what is see where that tube on his car goes to. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing as um, Nate's. I mean, he he sent us a picture, but um, his is a little bit different. So, if anything, I hope it be I hope it'll be close enough for us to know what it's like. But without further ado, guys, let's go. Let's go over to this place. All right, guys. So now we checked my buddy's car. So we checked our buddy's car. It was different. Um, so now we came back home. Nate went, Nate went home. I dropped off Nate at home. And then now I'm at my own house because we got to get ready for work anyways. So this is probably it for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You know, and comment down below what you guys think about the paint job. I mean, we did a horrible job of telling what you guys think about the actual paint itself. But without further ado, guys, peace out. I'll see you guys next time.